guys it is saturday and the coronavirus is here it is here and it is attacking and we need to get undercover just kidding but we are not leaving the apartment so i figured i would make some lasagna because it takes a while to make and i normally wouldn't make it because of those reasons but now I have all the time in the world to make it. So, might as well. I'm using this recipe, which I found on Pinterest. It's called World's Best Lasagna. It's the best in the entire world. So don't even try to argue with me. It is the best. <laughs> but really, I have made this recipe before and it's pretty good. So I'm gonna make it again. Last time, I can't remember how long ago I made it. It was a couple of years ago. So, <laughs> just to give you an idea. But yeah, the coronavirus is here. Kind of scary, pretty weird. I was working this week in the office and there's like no one downtown. So it's really eerie and just strange, very strange. Then yesterday I started working from home. So I'm happy about that no longer exposed to the germs all over downtown so just isolated in my house what do they call it social distancing self-isolation quarantine all that good stuff happening right here right now you're here for it aren't you excited let's get started with the lasagna <laughs> give me something to do ben's over there playing on his video games so i'm expecting he'll be there for um another uh, two weeks to 18 months who knows how long this is gonna last but I expect to remain in that position for the entire duration of the virus as for me I gotta keep myself busy so I'm gonna make lasagna let's do it the first thing it says to do is to cook the meat which is Italian sausage and ground beef in a pot with the onion so I have to cut up the onion but before all that gotta wash my hands Look, my hands are like dry and scaly because I've been washing them so much. But, gotta do what you gotta do. Hands are washed. I feel like if you haven't developed some sort of eczema on your hands at this point, you're probably not washing them enough. Just a tip. <laughs> huh? Just a tip. <laughs> it's a half a cup of onion, minced. What does that mean? Cut up into really small pieces? Three dice, like really tiny. Okay. As small as you can make them. That's pretty well minced, I'd say. So I'm gonna get the meat ready in the pot, and then I'll put the garlic in after that. Ground meat, plop that in. Sausage, oh yeah. Half cup of onion, and two cloves, cloves, two cloves of garlic, crushed. There's the meat, it is browned, so I'm gonna put the sauce in now. 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes going in. Next is 16 ounces of tomato sauce. And 12 ounces of tomato paste. And a half cup of water. Then you add basil, Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. Then some sugar and parsley. There it is all mixed up. Now gotta put a top on to let it simmer. And that has to simmer for two hours. Oh boy. We'll be eating around seven. Good thing I made it now. It's later on now. I made a ricotta cheese mixture, 
which is basically just ricotta cheese, parsley, one egg, and salt. And I have to make the lasagna noodles. Then I can put it all together. There is 20 minutes left on the sauce. The sauce. Did he just say sauce on the TV show at the same time as me? Mm -hmm. Inception. I'm gonna try to cook the noodles in here because usually I would do them in this big thing, but um, the sauce is in there. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but we'll figure it out. The pasta is done now, just drying out. Next step is to put it in this pan. day before Easter and we are in quarantine because of the coronavirus um so Ben and I are about to tie eggs usually we do this at my parents house but I figured that I would FaceTime them and dye the eggs um while we're FaceTiming Eloise is just walking all around the eggs getting all her fur all over everything I think I probably should have made more eggs I only made a dozen but I figured it's just the two of us, so I don't know. I feel like we're not gonna eat more than a dozen eggs within a couple of days. So that's the plan. You ready? Got the Dr. Pepper in the shot. I'm dying my eggs in Dr. Pepper. Got my switch case over there. We're moving next weekend, so I just have like Huge some box. random things Huge <laughs> in boxes over there that we're gonna be moving, but yeah. Let's get my face, my FaceTime. Let's get my parents on FaceTime. Yeah. The FaceTime. Yeah. Ben and I are moving in a week to a townhouse. So we're pretty excited. It's gonna be weird moving during the time of Corona because we aren't gonna be able to have much help moving. I think we're gonna have my brother help us but other than that, just gonna be me and Ben. The first egg I'm gonna dye is gonna be pink because that's what I always do. First one I'm gonna do is the pink one. No. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. It's a new tradition for me. It's the first one I'm gonna do every year. No. <laughs> you wobbling that egg around is making me nervous. We only have 12 eggs, okay? If you crack one, you're out an egg. That's a risk you're willing to take. Yeah. <laughs> we should listen to some Easter tunes. I don't think there are any Easter tunes. These are. Egg bird the Easter egg. Egg bird the Easter egg was a pretty little Easter egg. Cutest thing you ever saw. In the window of a big department store. Who sings that? Bing Crosby? Um, the other lady in White Christmas. Rosemary Clooney. Rosemary Clooney. Egg, Bert, the Easter egg. Was a pretty little Easter egg. Cutest thing you ever saw. In the window of a big department store. So I'm going to Punch it. Dying some Easter eggs. Someone was walking around the neighborhood dressed in Easter Bunny outfit this morning. Really? Yeah. 
and the um, water truck came through earlier with the Easter Bunny on. It's the highlight of Dad and I's day. <laughs> wow! God, life in the Quran is boring. <laughs> I should have made more eggs. This whole dyeing process is only going to take like three minutes. Yeah, I should make two dozen. I mean, I'm going to make them right now. He's putting them on. Smells like farts. Smells like farts. Ben and I are done dyeing eggs now. I'll show you them when we get back. But we're leaving now to pick up Thai fruit, Thai food. I can't speak. Thai food from our favorite place. Um, and then we'll <laughs> um, come back and I'll show you the eggs. But yeah, I got some pad thai. Ben got grapao with chicken. Maximum spice. This is gonna be the first time I left the house in I don't even know how long. Five days. Five days. Let's do this. <laughs> Seems like a nice day out. Here we go. Driving my car for the first time in the week, basically. I'm thrilled to get the opportunity. It is super nice out. Super duper, I'm gonna open the windows. Get that fresh air in our lungs. Keep the corona out. And we are off. I haven't put gas in my car in probably a month. At least three weeks. That's outrageous. You usually have to fill it up once a week. At least once a week. I still sing the first ones. It's different. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was the same. We have arrived at the Thai place. There it is. Ben's going to get it back there. But they have like a window where you can go pick it up because they're not letting people inside. Um, so he's going to pick it up at the window. It's really odd because everyone walking around is wearing masks and I feel like I'm in a horror movie. <laughs> it's a good thing that they're wearing masks. It's just like eerie. I don't realize that things are weird unless I stop to actually think about it or unless I go outside and am like interacting <laughs> with the rest of the world. But yeah, it's just a very strange, very strange time. Got the food. How was that experience? Good. You had to wait through the window again? Mm -hmm. Was there anyone else waiting there? There were three other people, but everyone was staying very far away from each other. Good, 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 good. I got pad thai, Bangkok grapao. I'm pretty sure I already said that. <laughs> Let's go. Here's my pad thai. They gave me a ton of it. Just had a little taste. It's very good, just the right amount of spicy. I'm gonna eat the rest now. And as I promised, here are our finished eggs. We made two dozen, but they both look pretty much exactly the same. But there they are, pretty standard pastel Easter eggs. Hi guys, it is the next day now, and it is Easter Sunday. And normally on Easter Sunday, what I do is go to mass with my family in the morning, have dinner with my family, my mom makes turkey dinner, and hang out at my parents' house, basically. But since we're in quarantine, can't do that. So I watched the mass on the TV this morning. Ben fell asleep. <laughs> and um, now we're going to my parents to eat the dinner on their porch. We'll see how this works out. We might end up having to bring it here, but we'll see if it works. My parents have set up a table for us to eat on the front porch. <laughs> and here is the turkey dinner. Happy Easter. My brother is FaceTiming. He lives in New York City. And now is the time where they're clapping for all the healthcare workers. Oh, it's 7.02. Is it stopping? 
I can't hear it. Ben and I ate our dinner. Ben had a second helping. We have everyone on the FaceTime. My sister, Caitlin, is on the back porch. <laughs> There's the table they were eating dinner at. And my sister is through that window. Everyone that walks by looks at us like we're crazy. But it's okay. Because I had a delicious turkey meal. I just ate a piece of pie. Coconut pie. It was pretty good. Now my brother Kevin and his girlfriend Bailey are talking to us through the window. We're just staring at us. Mm -hmm. We're an experiment. <laughs> Where are they the experiment? Where's Rosie? There's my parents. Ben and I are about to leave. I got my Easter basket. <laughs> Hi guys. It is Saturday and as you can see, there's moving boxes all behind me. Ben and I are moving today to a townhouse. Um, but since it's... Wait, I'm getting a call. But because we're in the time of corona, usually we would have like all our family members and siblings help us move places. Um, and we just kind of do that every time. But we can't do that now because of coronavirus. And obviously we haven't seen like our family members um, for a while in person. So what we're doing is Ben's friend is helping us move. So it's just gonna be the three of us and I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. But we'll see. Ben and his friend went to pick up the U-Haul right now and they're on their way back. Um, yeah. I have to go to the townhouse to meet the like cable person at 10 o'clock, which is approaching. So that's the plan for now. We'll see what happens, but yeah, I kind of feel bad for Ben and his friend because they're going to have to do most of the heavy lifting because obviously I'm not the greatest at doing that. <laughs> My hair is extremely curly today. I chose not to style it and just let it go natural. Oh, natural. Oh, well. Welcome to my crib. Go up the stairs from the front door. This is the living room. This is outside. This is the kitchen area. This is the bathroom. Ooh, almost fell. Up the stairs again. There's no overhead lighting in these rooms, so it's dark. But this is the second bedroom. This is the bathroom. And this is the other bedroom. The 
end. Hi guys, it's a couple weeks later now. I think the last clip you probably saw was us getting ready to move and then a little tour before we moved all our stuff in. But we're in the new townhouse now. It's a couple weeks later. We have time traveled, just like an Animal Crossing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess I'll give a tour of the house some other time. Uh, cause I don't feel like doing that right now. But, <laughs> um, we're all moved in. We still have a couple things to deal with in the garage. I don't know, there's just like random bits that we've thrown in there. Um, but other than that, we're basically all moved in. I want to go out now to get flowers to plant in the backyard because we have like a little flower garden area. It's just a small one. I already got a couple flowers. There it is over there. I already got a couple flowers um, yesterday, but I wanted to get some more today. Uh, that's chair right there. I kind of want to move to the basement because um, we got this new patio furniture at Big Lots. That's what's going on. We're gonna go find some more flowers. Today, well yesterday was the first day that Pennsylvania, which is where we live, well the area where we live in Pennsylvania, turned to yellow. So we were in the red phase, now we're in the yellow phase of quarantine. And that just means that the retail stores open, I don't know, daycares can open. <laughs> it's not that much changed. It's not that much change, I can't speak. Because I'm still gonna be working from home. They still recommend working from home if you can. Um, I'm not really gonna go out shopping to stores and stuff other than right now I'm going to the greenhouse, but that would have been open anyway in the red phase. Um, I didn't wanna go to Home Depot or Lowe's because I noticed when we've been going there during coronavirus, there are a million people there every time we go and it's super crowded. So I don't wanna get myself, you know, overexposed to corona. So that's what we're doing. We're going to a greenhouse, gonna find some flowers and gonna come back and plant them. Do you have anything to say, Ben? No. <laughs> All right, let's go. is red. Did I get a sunburn? What do you need cut off? Your Probably from my mask. We are back now from the garden center, but we went to a lot of places in between. So I got my flowers. I got some flowers for my mom too, so I stopped at her house, dropped them off for her, talked to her through the window for a little bit because social distancing. <laughs> and um, then, what did we do? We went to the grocery store, did a full grocery store shop, because we were just gonna get hot dogs for tonight to eat, but then we were like, well, if we're gonna be in the grocery store, might as well get our groceries for the week. So we did that, and now we're back. And I'm making some chili sauce to put on top of the hot dogs. I don't know if that's a thing that people do everywhere. Had you ever heard of that before me? It is? Ben just told me it was normal, so apparently it's normal. But I've only ever really seen my family do it. Anyway, I'm browning the meat right now, as you can see, to make the chili sauce, then we're gonna make hot dogs. I don't think I'm gonna have time to plant my flowers tonight because it's gonna get dark eventually. It's like 7.19 right now, so it's exactly 7.19 right now. So I don't think I'm gonna have time for that but maybe tomorrow. Right now I'm focusing on this chili sauce and getting these hot dogs ready. It's a very summery day today, I feel like. It was like 70 degrees out, eating a summery meal. Yeah, I'm gonna continue cooking. Okay, now I'm moving on to the sauce. Thank Ben's you, giving Eloise some tuna. <laughs> it takes one cup tomato sauce. 
two teaspoons chili powder, two teaspoons, is it cumin or cumin? Three teaspoons paprika, one tablespoon minced onion, one teaspoon oregano, one cup water, one teaspoon salt, and a fourth teaspoon of pepper. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm about to do the meat in the food processor. This just doesn't feel natural to me, but let's see how it goes. Okay, I added the meat to my sauce mixture, and I'm gonna cook it now. Mix it all up, and cook it. Got some chili dogs, Mike's Hard Lemonade, chips, Bengar's root beer, because that's what he likes. <laughs> And we're gonna eat now. Got a napkin? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Here are the flowers I got. Some of them I got today and some of them I got yesterday and some of them are already planted in here. <laughs> like that one's already planted. Um, that one's already planted, so is that one. But here they are. Just thought I'd show you since that was the whole purpose of the day. And Ben and I put these lights up a couple days ago. So yeah, looking pretty cute. It's getting unfocused. Okay, it's focused again. There's the aftermath of our hot dogs. <laughs> They're you. really good. Now we're gonna clean up. Ben and I are sitting down by the fire now. We've been sitting here for at least an hour. <laughs> so, are you gonna put more wood on or are you just letting it go? It's like 10 o'clock right now. I'm gonna throw a couple more on. Okay. Just down here, I'll have one more beer. We got the mood lighting going. It looks like my flowers are planted, but they're not. <laughs> they're just sitting in there. I gotta pull some of these weeds around the fire, but I'll do that tomorrow. We got an actual fire going now. Oh yeah. Started it back up again. It's very dark, I can barely see you. <laughs> I got my slippers on. Nice and cozy. Just made my coffee. I decided to make iced coffee today because it's kind of warm and I felt like it. Um, I'm about to make breakfast for Ben and I. Ben's up taking a shower right now, but I have sausage, eggs, and hash browns. So I'm gonna start making that now. Got my oven preheated for the hash browns and I think I'm gonna put those in now because those take the longest. Gonna make my sausage patties. Ben's back now. <laughs> Bob Evans sausage patties. Best patties out there. No competition. Sausage is cooking. Got my eggs going. Scrambled for Ben. Dipping for me. Got the breakfast is done. <laughs> Looks pretty good. I spilled my coffee all over the floor. So it was a bit of a disaster, but I cleaned it up. 
let's eat. All right, I've taken a shower now. I'm gonna go out and plant my flowers. Ben is going to clean the grill off because it's pretty dirty. But yeah, let's go get started. them all planted now I'm just gonna give them a water. That's not horrible. 